Hi, I'm Amy Robbins, a PhD candidate in the Stankunis lab at the University of Oregon. Today, I'm excited to tell you about my research on zebrafish fins and its implications for bone repair. The US has nearly 8 million skeletal fracture incidents each year, which cost over $21 billion to treat in 2016. Unfortunately, as many as 10% of these fractures can experience complications during healing, which can lead to non-unions, pain, and mobility limitations. So there's a demonstrated medical need and a market for developing novel therapeutics to improve fracture healing. However, studies in humans and mammalian models are limited by their invasive nature. This brings me to the zebrafish. You may be thinking, what can a small fish teach us about skeletal repair? Well, not only do our zebrafish cousins share about 80% of our genes, they can do something incredible that we can't. Zebrafish have the ability to robustly regenerate their fin appendages after amputation or injury. Here is a time course of caudal fin regeneration with this dashed white line indicating where the fin was amputated. By 30 days post amputation, the fin has perfectly restored its former size and shape, which we can easily observe without invasive manipulations. In the Stankunis lab, we use the zebrafish caudal fin to study the basic biology of skeletal regeneration. We use tools to cause fins to overgrow, as you can see in this aptly named long fin genetic mutant, or we can make their skeletons become mispatterned, as with this chemically treated fin lacking the skeletal ray branch points that you can see in controls. These tools teach us about the finely tuned conserved signals which coordinate bone size and shape. In order to understand what these signals are doing to cellular behavior, I've been developing high resolution time lapse imaging techniques in live fish. To demonstrate this, here is a 30 minute time lapse movie of the tip of a bony fin ray. You can see the movement of the skin cells in green in relation to the underlying bone in magenta. I can extract quantitative information such as position and speed of individual cells with semi-automated cell tracking software. These imaging techniques allow us to understand how signaling pathways are changing cellular movements to form the skeleton in real time. In summary, we can use the advantages of zebrafish to understand the basic biology of bone formation in fins. To maximize the potential impact of our research, we need to test if the mechanisms we are identifying in fish function similarly in mammals. You can help us accomplish this goal through collaborations or funding opportunities. And down the road, this information can be used to identify biofactors for therapeutic interventions to improve fracture treatments. If you would like details on my research, or if you're interested in helping us expand our impact, I'd love to hear from you. My contact information is here in blue below. And with that, thank you very much.